Filing your taxes can ensure you have access to essential benefits, and using the Community Volunteer Income Tax Program is a great way to receive help with this process. But there's one more step to make it all go smoothly. That's being prepared for your appointment. Let's talk about the documents you'll need for your CVITP appointment. For many, filing taxes can feel like an overwhelming process. There can be many documents that are required, and it all depends on your unique situation. Let's try to clear the air. The documents you'll require need to be for the tax year that you're filing. This is usually the previous year. The first and most common type of documents are tax slips, also known as T-slips, as their titles begin with the letter T. Take Hannah, for example. She's employed, so she has a T-4 that she received from her employer. And she's a student, so she also has a T-2202 from her school. Or how about Peter? He's retired and receives a variety of T4A slips covering his pension, old age security, and CPP. The types of T-slips that you will have depend on your circumstances during the tax year. If you were employed, you will receive a T4. If you're retired, you'll have a variety of T4As. If you received EI or other benefits, you'll receive a T4E. If you receive social assistance or workers' comp, you'll receive a T5007. If you were a student, you'll receive a T-2202. There are more, but it's safe to say that if you receive a document with a title that begins with the letter T, it's a document you need to bring to your tax filing appointment. With T-slips covered, the next thing to consider are the various expenses and receipts that you may need. These can change depending on government programs for the tax year. If we look at Hannah's situation again, she has monthly prescription expenses. She'll need these receipts for her appointment. Or Peter, he pays rent and needs proof of rent paid from his landlord in order to claim certain benefits. Your circumstance is unique and the expenses and receipts you need are too. Here are some other common items to consider and remember when in doubt, bring it. To speed up your appointment, it's helpful if you add up your totals for each category. Now that you've got your documents organized for income and expenses, here are additional documents you'll want to have with you a provincial health card for every member of your family, a void check from your bank to set up direct deposit for benefits, your notice of assessment from the previous tax year, you would have received this from the CRA, your notice of determination if you are eligible for the disability tax credit. We've covered a lot of information today, so here's a quick recap list of all the documents we've mentioned in this video. Feel free to pause the video to review. There are many documents that you may require for filing your taxes. If you're unsure about a specific type of document, it's better to bring it along and not need it than to have to reschedule a new appointment. Once you've filed your taxes, you'll receive a notice of assessment in the mail or online through your CRA My account. Keep this and the other documents we've covered organized in a folder for each year. This will make filing your taxes so much easier. Hold on to these documents for at least six years. Now that we've covered the benefits of filing your taxes, the CVITP, and how to prepare for your appointment, we hope you feel confident about filing your taxes.